Also, she wrote a piece once after she had been in East Timor. She was very celebrated for her reporting from East Timor. In East Timor in 1999, um, there was a a referendum on independence and the, from Indonesia the people voted for independence and then a militia sponsored by the Indonesian government started to run rampage around the island and people fled to the UN compound and Marie was in the UN compound too as were many other journalists and it became more and more fraught and more and more dangerous and um, editors pulled their journalists out and Marie was left um, with two Dutch journalists, uh, Minka and Irina. And there is a funny story about this because um, she didn't consult her foreign editor before deciding to stay. That was Marie. She, so she calls him afterwards and says, oh, Sean, by the way, <laughs> I'm staying. The others are pretty much all gone. It's just me and Minka and Irina. And Sean goes, well, where have the men gone? And she said, yeah, they've all left. I guess they don't make men like they used to. <laughs> Which is such a Marie comment and so unfair. Because, in fact, I happen to know that there were two journalists who happened to be men who had gone into the hills with the gorillas, which was just as brave as staying in the compound. But, hey, let's not ruin one of Marie's good stories. Um, but she was... And 80 UN people had also stayed as, as volunteers to protect... They were human shields. Marie was one of these people who was a human shield. It was... Um, a very brave thing to do and she was very celebrated when she came out but she wrote a piece um, which was entitled Courage Has No Gender and she said look I couldn't leave because you know I had shared these people's food their rice and I felt it would be abandoning them I just, I just couldn't do it but she didn't feel that her bravery ha had anything to do with her, her gender and she didn't really feel that her reporting had anything to do with her mm -hmm. gender either oh apart from one thing one other story from there Marie, so Marie, Marie always wore sort of utilitarian stuff when she's corresponding, as we all do, but she always had uh, lace, uh, silk and la perla underwear on underneath. That was Marie. And uh, she managed to get back to the hotel at uh, some point after, you know, towards the end of the, of the story of the crisis in East Timor, uh, which she'd abandoned her hotel room and had to run to the, uh, to the compound. And she found much to her amazement that the guerrillas had... Um, looted her La Perla <laughs> underwear, but not her flak jacket, which was still there. <laughs> <laughs> uh.